Welcome to Vloom Vibes. If you enjoy car reviews, don't forget to like, subscribe, and hit the notification bell. The Tesla Cybertruck is built for adventure, but what happens when it faces deep water? Can this futuristic electric truck power through extreme conditions, or will it struggle when submerged? Today, we're pushing the limits, driving through deep water, waves, and unexpected obstacles to see just how capable the Cybertruck really is. For a successful deep water test in the Tesla Cybertruck, it's essential to adjust key settings on the dashboard. First, setting the suspension to its highest ride height will provide maximum ground clearance, reducing the risk of water reaching sensitive components. Engaging off-road mode or a specialized terrain response mode will optimize traction and power distribution for navigating through water. Maintaining a slow and steady speed of around three to five miles per hour is crucial to prevent excessive splashing and maintain control. To ensure smooth handling, regenerative braking should be set to low, preventing abrupt stops that could lead to traction loss. Additionally, all windows and doors must be tightly sealed to prevent water intrusion into the cabin. Monitoring the battery's temperature and voltage is also important to avoid potential overheating or power fluctuations. Turning off HVAC system recirculation will help prevent moisture from fogging up windows, ensuring clear visibility. Utilizing surround view cameras and sensors can aid in navigation through murky water conditions. Lastly, having an escape plan in place, such as knowing how to use the manual door release, is essential in case of an emergency or power failure. With these settings and precautions, the Cybertruck will be better equipped to handle the challenges of deep water driving. The Tesla Cybertruck is designed to be one of the most capable off-road electric vehicles, and its ability to handle deep water is a key feature that sets it apart. While Tesla hasn't provided an official maximum weighting depth, estimates based on its adaptive air suspension and design suggest it can handle water levels of around 35 to 40 inches or 89 to 102 centimeters. This makes it comparable to, or even better than, many traditional off-road trucks and SUVs that rely on internal combustion engines, which are highly vulnerable to water intake and hydrolocking. One of the biggest advantages the Cybertruck has over gas-powered vehicles is its electric drivetrain. Unlike traditional trucks that require air intake and exhaust systems, the Cybertruck's sealed battery pack and electric motors eliminate the risk of water entering an engine or stalling due to a flooded exhaust pipe. This gives the Cybertruck a significant edge when it comes to tackling flooded roads, deep puddles, river crossings, and other challenging water obstacles. Additionally, the Cybertruck's air suspension system can raise the truck to its highest setting, giving it even more ground clearance. This means that in situations where water levels fluctuate, the Cybertruck can be adjusted to improve its weighting capability. The stainless steel exoskeleton also provides extra durability, helping to withstand submerged obstacles, such as rocks, branches, and debris commonly found in floodwaters. Elon Musk has even claimed that the Cybertruck could briefly act as a boat, meaning it may be able to float for short periods in calm water. This suggests that the Cybertruck could potentially keep moving even when partially submerged. However, this doesn't mean it's designed for extended deep water travel, as fast-moving water, strong currents, or prolonged submersion could still pose risks. While Tesla's waterproofing efforts are impressive, critical components such as the cabin electronics, sensors, and battery cooling system still have limits when it comes to long-term exposure to water. In a real-world flood scenario, the Cybertruck would have a major advantage over most vehicles, as it would be less likely to suffer from immediate mechanical failure. However, caution should always be exercised when driving through deep water, as factors like hidden debris, unexpected depth changes, and water pressure could still pose a challenge. Overall, with its sealed battery, electric powertrain, high ground clearance, and durable construction, the Cybertruck is one of the best vehicles for tackling flooded streets, deep water crossings, and extreme weather conditions. It's not entirely waterproof, but it is far more water resistant than most vehicles on the market today. While the Tesla Cybertruck is designed to handle deep water better than most vehicles, there are still important factors to consider when driving through floods or water crossings. 
Water resistance does not mean waterproof, and extended exposure to deep water could eventually cause complications, even for an electric vehicle. One key concern is battery safety. While the Cybertruck's battery pack is sealed, prolonged submersion in water could still pose risks, especially if the seals are compromised or if water enters through other vulnerable areas. Tesla's battery management system is designed to regulate temperature and prevent short circuits, but extreme conditions such as strong water currents or submerged obstacles could still cause unexpected damage. Another factor is hydrodynamics and stability. Unlike amphibious vehicles, the Cybertruck isn't specifically designed to float or maneuver efficiently in deep water. If the water level reaches too high, buoyancy could reduce traction, making it difficult to steer or maintain control. Fast-moving currents, such as those in rivers or flash floods, could even push the truck off course, increasing the risk of accidents. Despite these challenges, the Cybertruck's advanced technology and rugged construction still make it one of the most capable vehicles in extreme weather conditions. The all-wheel drive system ensures power is distributed efficiently to maintain traction, even when driving through waterlogged roads. Additionally, over-the-air software updates could potentially improve water navigation capabilities as Tesla continuously refines its vehicle performance. For those planning to take the Cybertruck into deep water, caution and proper preparation are essential to ensure a safe and successful experience. As the Tesla Cybertruck emerged from the deep water, the effects of the extreme test started to show. Upon closer inspection, a few close-up covers near the front tire area had been dislodged. The force of the water, combined with possible impacts from submerged debris, likely loosened these covers, causing them to either shift out of place or detach entirely. Impact wasn't limited to just the front section. The back center cover, positioned just below the number plate, also came loose and was eventually removed entirely. This suggests that while the Cybertruck's stainless steel exoskeleton is built for rugged durability, some attachment points for covers and panels might not be as securely fastened as the rest of the body. If the One of the more concerning failures involved the cargo control button, located at the back top near the left tail light. After being submerged, the button became completely unresponsive, indicating that water infiltration had damaged the internal electronics. This raises concerns about the water resistance of certain external controls and electrical components, especially in situations where long-term exposure to moisture is involved. While the Cybertruck's main drivetrain and critical systems remained functional, smaller but important features like tailgate controls, sensors, and exterior buttons may not be as well protected as the vehicle's core mechanics. If you enjoyed this test, Make sure to subscribe for more epic Cybertruck experiments. Like this video if you think Tesla should improve the Cybertruck's waterproofing. Share this with fellow Tesla fans and let us know in the comments, would you take the Cybertruck through deep water?